Right now, one million Floridians are looking for a job. And with a tight budget on the governor's desk, more government employees and teachers are expected to join the ranks. Tonight in Attendance Extra, I sit down with Governor Scott to talk about creating jobs, citizens' insurance, and the future of our state. Environmentalists, teachers, and consumer groups call this one of the worst sessions on record. However, the governor says it's good for job growth. As you know, I ran on a specific platform, mm -hmm. seven steps. You can measure me every day. 700,000 700, quality jobs. I'm Absolutely. throwing in quality because Absolutely. that's what everybody wants, not Absolutely. minimum wage. So so if you think about it, I'm, I ran on, I, you can measure me. I tell people, hold me accountable. But in the short term, several thousand government workers will be losing their jobs. We're doing the things that we ought to be doing. We're controlling the size of government, and we're getting the state back to work. It's Because the issue is jobs. We've got to get jobs going again. But, you know, a lot of your critics will say we're losing losing state worker positions, we're losing teachers positions. So how how is that creating positions? Because what we're doing is we're building private sector jobs. Those are long term jobs. The budget includes a boost for small businesses, a thirty million dollar tax break that's about eleven $1 hundred dollars per business, and a cut for classrooms, about eight percent less per student. Teachers, as you know, have been out in full force protesting any of these changes to education. So what do you want to say to them? A lot of them are saying to us they'll leave Florida the good teachers will go and this may not keep them the, if you think about great teachers what do they want do they want to be measured uh, we're gonna have merit pay for teachers they want competition they want to get they want to be the best and how you do it is they, they know that the best teachers now will be able to keep their jobs it's not going to be tied just to seniority that's not fair to, to great teachers so you know great teachers is not something that's been there longer it's who's the most effective we, we're gonna measure that so the right things gonna happen for teachers and with hurricane season just weeks away, some 10 News viewers want to know about the future of the state-supported property insurance company. Rebecca Whitlock wants to know, do you have any plans to phase out citizens' insurance? My, my goal is to make citizens the insurance company of last resort. Citizens will always be there, but okay. it's not going to be the first insurance you think about. I want, I want all the other insurance companies to come back into the state, and they take the risk instead of you as a taxpayer uh, taking that risk. Now the governor says he's going to go through the $69.7 billion budget line by line, and he says he'll veto anything that does not help create jobs.